All right, so Tiny finally dropped. Finally. This has been a very enjoyable rollout. Well, you know, a very stressful rollout. But uh, it all paid off in the end. Vultures 1 finally dropped. Uh, it has 16 tracks and like a total of like 55 minutes. So yeah, the, the album is finally here. And now look, obviously, I know it's too soon to like give a review or a rating. And you need it to, to let it breathe um, as an album that's just newly dropped. But um, these are just my initial thoughts. And then I'll probably give like a final review later on after I've listened to it for some time. So yeah, these are just my initial thoughts and reviews. Um, I gave it a listen in the morning and throughout the day. And so far, it's sounding pretty good. But it's more of a mid-tier to like the weaker kind of albums that have been released. Which in my opinion, if it's his first mid-tier album, which I'm saying it is, uh, it's a good thing because it means he's dropped in 20 years, not one mid-album anything good or above so that's a good thing technically um i'll take that w and like for example in my opinion and this is weird because i'm comparing a collab album to his solo albums and not to his other collab albums but anyway um this is not like touching the total the, the college dropout late registration graduation uh mbdtf and the life of pablo in my opinion i don't think it is so far um the only albums I think it rivals are 808s and Heartbreak, Jesus, Ye, and maybe Donda. And that's a stretch in my opinion. And that's because of just how different these albums are. 808s, not Donda, just how different these albums are. Uh, I don't even know how you would actually rank them together because like Jesus, for example, is completely experimental. So I guess obviously off of enjoyability, but that's, yeah, that's about it. Um, and I would think like 808s and the other ones are just in a tier of their own. And also, I haven't listened to them in full except for Donda only. And I have like 12 songs. I feel like I would actually replay over time. Uh, and my top five off the bat are like Burn, Problematic, Good, uh, Carnival, and Hood Rat or Pate. But like, yeah, that, if I had to choose, it's those five. It's not like the other ones are bad. It's just like those five are like the standouts, in my opinion, of the entire uh, album. And like the weakest ones in my opinion, are talking. And it's not to say, it's not like bad. It's just, you know, of course, Nor North's part is not replayable in my opinion. So I'm, I'm not going to be listening to that uh, frequently. But I did enjoy seeing like Kanye sing and then Ty Dolla uh, Sign's part in the end. Um, do It, it's just not growing on me. Uh, F some. It's good, but the change from the initial snippet, I don't know if you guys heard it. It was kind of a downgrade in my opinion. They should have kept the like background whether it was the synths or like the electronic um, beat going in the background because off of the beat alone, it just wasn't really working in my opinion. And um, Vultures, which is also good, but just like the final Ty Dolla Signs part, the outro. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I would give it like a low to a mid eight so far. Very good. I mean, <laughs> not very good, but like pretty good. Uh, and it's definitely grown on me. And I'm excited for volume two or three if it's going to actually come out. But yeah, that's about it. Um, leave a comment down below what you thought about the album. Peace.